things are definitely, definitely afoot. So we're going to be loading up the Ottoman game now. Because I believe we left the last session at the beginning of a war against Thebes. I'm trying to remember what nation Thebes actually is now. Obviously, it's not Egypt anymore. It's not England. I legit can't remember. Thebes must fall. Thebes must indeed fall. Thebo de Londa Est. Have Mordred muted at the moment, just watching the end of the cricket. Fair enough, boy. Okay, here we go. Who is Thebes? Mughals. So the Ottomans versus the Mughals. That actually feels somewhat appropriate. Cool. Alright, so we are currently in a battle. 600 versus 300. We do have a mortar sitting in our garrison here. So everyone around that garrison is going to be able to hit harder. Was it here? It's here, sorry. So it's actually the Janissaries that are in the garrison. So all the Janissaries adjacent are going to hit harder. But I think right now what I need to do is explode some of the walls. So they have drafties. Drafties. Doesn't look like they have any regular soldiers. Oh no, those are crossbows. However, that is a cliff, so I don't think you can attack there. Oh, you can attack there. Of course, gunners. They just shoot down. Oh man, we're just going to do like one shot, one kill. My goodness, these ga Janissaries. An attack of 63. Plus four from adjacent friendly units. Plus four from being up high. Plus three siege mastery. Plus three focused fire. What's focused fire? Plus two from districts. And then plus one from the veterancy. What's focused fire? Oh, that's the Ottoman ability. Right, so... <laughs> Being the Ottomans, you actually get a plus six in bat in uh, sieges. That's pretty nice. Oh, and the mortar can hit the guys behind. Oh! And I want to. Yeah, we'll bomb you. Didn't do as much damage. Okay, Janissary turn. It's a firing squad. Oh my gosh. We just killed one, two, three, four units in one volley, basically. Mordred, will you play Victoria 3? I think that there is probably a higher than average chance of me playing Victoria 3, yes. Because <laughs> I actually really like Victoria 2. I haven't streamed it very much, but I do really like Victoria, uh, Vicky 2. Um, so you guys can't immediately just walk in. Uh, I don't want to stand you there. You guys, can you shoot anything? No. Alright, that'll do. Good first round. Moogle turn. My god, he said my message. I very often do that. Oh, of course, they have their navy coming in. Right, and we have ours also moving. They're there. Oh my gosh, I forgot just how many ships they had over here. Torachi wants me to drink some tea probably be arranged while we are waiting for their navies to arrange themselves. This is a siege with focus fire ability. Are my ships going to get a bonus as well? That is a veritable armada. Crikey. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ships. Okay, I was going to bring in four. I'm not so sure that four is enough anymore. Yeah. 
That one unit back there is getting a fair bit of experience. We should probably pull him back though. 96 damage. He's already a level 2. So, uh, yes, it is my turn now. Can I pull you back? No, but I can gun down the guys that are over here. So I think that I should probably turn the mortars towards the ships. Hopefully they can one-shot them. Here go the land batteries. Minus four from low line of sight. That's fine. Getting the uh, bombard some pretty decent experience. And then outside of the battle we have the rest of our fleet on the way. Except they're not going to arrive this turn. Take a while to actually get in the city. Interesting. I have a proposition for you. I <laughs> no, Quill. Like no. I find your proposition outlandish at best. Interesting. <laughs> yes, interesting. Absolutely not. Uh, Siki is going to take seven turns to mature. And we're going to add that to Barusa. Oh, Metnak can already add. So I would say let's go ahead and do that. Did you have any valuables to develop? I don't think you did. So I think that these guys are all basically going to have to be... Oh no, that's going to be a three. Then we do have another city, which I think we're going to put in Saria. And we're going to have grabbing these four. Oh, these three, rather. Possibly these four. Just take out the coast. Alright, let's have you moving towards the ruins. The question here is, where do we want to settle? If we put it right there, we get a lot of river adjacencies. Get one, two, three, four. Which means lots of production and food, because these are all multiple tiles. Okay. Um, you guys are hanging out because I don't want you joining the fight yet. <laughs> and just how many militarist stars am I getting from this? We've got level 1, we need another 5 kills, we get level 2. 13 population. Wait, 0 reward? Uh... I'm hoping that's a graphical issue. Because zero fame rewards doesn't seem particularly nice. The Persians and the Mughals have just made an alliance. Close to defeat in my war against the Poles. Uh, except that's not a war, that's an alliance. Come on, game. <laughs> And then Persia and Mughals have just allied. So I bid you in the name of my proud people. Is allying lots of people. And he's currently allied with two people at war with each other. So hopefully you don't try anything. Although, to be fair, I do still have some very large armies hanging around. Um, we have another turn. Just end that turn. You guys move your ships up. Although, what's their range? So they're just going to sit next to the coast and then do nothing. I do think the rewards per star go down over time, though I think zero is a bit much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fairly sure that's a graphical glitch. I, at least I hope so. Anyway, Tarachi wanted me to drink some tea. Let's go and do that now. Asso having 57 population was the biggest city on the map. Will be one of the Harappan ones. One of the Mexican ones, sorry. No. 
Brazilian. Yeah, he went Mexico to Brazil. Uh, 50, 60, 76. I would say that 76 is probably the biggest. I do kind of wonder how the hell you've got the stability to maintain such massive populations. Like Harappa... Oh, I was going to say it doesn't actually look like that big a city, but actually it's flipping massive. That's a lot of science districts. And that's only whenever this was last seen. I mean, that does just... Again, how, how do you have the stability for this? Looks like it's three territories, which is fairly standard. Anyway, mortifier time. I can't kill those in one shot. Now, can Janissaries shoot? Oh, yeah, they can. Okay, I think that land-based units might be a bit too strong at shooting at ships. Um, okay, so when my ships arrive, they're going to have far less of a problem now. Might be just the huge list of buffs. Yeah, probably. Uh, I totally forgot to check what actually your damage ratings against them are. But basically, the impression I'm getting here is don't mess with the Ottomans when it's a siege. Because they are very, very dangerous. Probably agrarian sieves, wonders, and holy sites. So yeah, because they were so far ahead in the eras, they were probably just buying all of the uh, wonders. Although then, how are they getting the influence for it? Like there are so many checks and balances in this game. Sounds like a militarist star. Which is giving me points. It's just these ones which aren't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a graphical glitch. They just haven't recalculated for this turn. So we're at 5,400. So we are now 1,100 behind Marbazir. Bearing in mind that Marbazir is an era ahead of us. No, two eras ahead of us. He's contemporary. We are early modern. There's still industrial between us. What use are those ships against the siege? They're not. <laughs> like, men of war would be great, because they can bombard, but these have a range of just one. So as long as I don't go into the tile, like, right next to the sea, next to the shore, we're fine. Huh, other people are still moving. Meanwhile, pollution is rising. Not as crazy ridiculous as when I was playing as Germany, but it is going up. Okay, so back into the battle. So when a mortar shoots, it gets high ground, friendly unit, veterancy, and veterancy. And the Janissaries get it, they get siege mastery. Because this does indeed count as a siege. I 
thought I saw that as another seven units entering the battle. Alright, let's bring in our ships. Raise the main Sink the enemy! Get some experience from these guys too. So these are just cogs versus carracks. My carracks are more advanced. Let's fight! Carracks have a range? Yeah, carracks actually have a range. Cogstone. So my ships are the first generation that can actually do stuff. They still have something left. Let's go take the flag just in case it's something scary. I don't think it will be, but just in case. Oh, it's another ship. Peacefully sitting at harbour. Thinking, please don't hurt us, please don't hurt us, please don't hurt us. <clears throat> I'm going to go after my boats, seeing as there's now something you can actually attack. Let the water run red. And there it is, the Siege of Thebes has been won. We killed 24 units, of which 15 were ships. Had those ships been with naval artillery, they'd have been a real threat. Yeah. Yeah, they would have, so I'm kind of glad I killed them here. If I and cannot yes. teach you wisdom, I will teach you regret. I think that we can now confirm that the Mughals are indeed dangerous. In sieges. However... We now have a bit of a problem. Because we've taken the one city that's near us. We lose three war support per turn. They lose four because of the occupation. But they have 100 war support. We only have 50. Vexed. I haven't seen vexed before. We were not allied. We had no non-aggression packs or anything like that. The only thing we had was a trade deal, which I broke like ten turns ago. I do think Marbazir Sif played relatively tall and then just conquered his neighbours. They might not have needed much influence. Well, his neighbour only had one city. His neighbour was Asur. All of the other cities, I think, were actually founded by him. And the main reason he was able to take out Asur was because Burke was at war with me. And I did a ton of damage to him early on. So we've got Memphis down there, which would require going through Marbazir. I do have Cahokia in the New World. And we do have some armies in the New World, which we could marshal to that battle. It'll take them a good six turns to get that far. It'll take you nine turns to get to the battle. Well, we better start marching. <laughs> and then I think that Isnapura needs to start recruiting some new troops to manage their own defense. Do you have all of the training stuff? You don't. Because we know that there is a hostile city up here which loves attacking us. What about Rome? Does Rome have all of that stuff set up? No, Rome's still training. Okay, so Isnapura is going to build those and then you're going to start building four Janissaries and let's go two mortars for now. Should be a decent defense. And we've got bigger navy coming over, which we may actually need to send up here. Huzzah! Meanwolf coming in with a 43 month resubscription. Thank you very much for the ongoing support. First, I was 42 months, next day I'm 43. But hey, I'm fine with that. I mean, it's just good timing, isn't it?
Hope you don't make an alliance with a certain German Empire and Austro-Hungarian Empire. Uh, there are no Germans or Austro-Hungarians in this game yet. And hello boy, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Um, so I'm legit considering going after Quill. Just so I can go through his lands to get to the Mughals. And it looks like we are now starting to outscale Quill's military. They're still medieval. So this army would be able to fight them. This army is way ahead of them. So I think I'll leave the army from Babylon. We're going to move you to join them. We're going to have you occupy Thebes. And you, I think, are going to march on towards my scene. If you seek the greater good, then I would know you better. I have a lot of grievances. This can be overlooked if you're willing to meet halfway. Give me that war support. Give me, give me, give me. There is a penalty to be paid. Worse still, should you refuse. Okay, and then the navy. Oh, just one more tile. A culture's heritage, the capture of the great city of Thebes, was a proud day for the Empire. Marching through its gates, however, it was clear the defeated citizens were equally proud of their own colourful culture. What do you make of their customs and rights? So we can get stability on the main plaza and admin centre, we can get influence. I mean, stability would be flipping amazing right now. So that should there. help simplicity and keep things focused. Depending, of course, on where you go next. So, monoculturalism. And you guys are still all doing your thing. That's fine. What does the pool building do? This one. Plus one faith per district, plus three influence, plus three influence per adjacent district. So it's it's really a way for me to boost my influence. Because Marbazir was starting to try to influence us. And I'd really like to start pushing back. And the English are also doing it. Welcome. You have news? H for Havoc. How's it feel to be to have Quill reverential to you? Well, it's a lot better to have him reverential than hostile. This has gone far enough. Let peace have a chance. Nope. <laughs> I am not defusing this one. Okay, you guys actually attacking from this angle would be pretty good. We can start marching over this way. And you lot are going to be responsible for holding the city. You've come down to where I wanted to start this, so really. One, two, three, one, two. Why is that such a good spot? Oh no, you got three. And you got the oasis. Yeah, okay, granted. That's a pretty nice location for a city centre. And it will take you three turns to establish, so then... I'm gonna need to wait for Siki to be finished, and then we can join Siki and... Oh no, Sabira was gonna be a new city, wasn't it? So in three cities, Sabir is established, and then we'll establish cities down in these guys. Cool. Alright, send the navy northwards. Hopefully you guys can merge up when you get joined up over here. Already feels like Victoria crisis blowing Ottoman grievances towards the Greeks. That's true. What did you mean? These pool buildings? Those are research centers. 
which apparently have swimming pools. Must be nice working as a researcher. <laughs> Merge the navies together. So we now have five ships on the prowl. Terribly sorry to bother you, but could I have a moment of your time? Return what is ours, or your safety cannot be guaranteed. So we are gaining. I trusted three you. War support. Okay. Um, let's see, you've just established Sabrir, so we kind of want you going down to Querat, but we actually, no, yeah, yeah, we can move, because it's going to be two turns until Sabrir is established. We can have you moving down here, ready to establish a city in Querat. Um, and Quera is looking like it's going to be in a 100% production settlement. Lots of rivers. The other thing is we could establish a city on here before we get too far. You know what? That's probably a better idea. Let's just stick a city right there. Get some nice high ground. Highway robbery! The Empire's trade routes resound with the noise of hooves and the dirt, creaking wheels and fluttering canvas. Caravans loaded with silks, spices and all manner of goods come and go from the far climbs. But near the city of Rome, these convoys are attracting the wrong kind of attention. Merchants ferrying gold along a lucrative trade route being targeted by a notorious gang, and the traders seek your aid. What is your decree? So we can guard them. No chance of good consequences, which will move us a little bit towards individualism. We can hunt them down, which will make us more authoritarian, which I don't really want to do. Or we can enlist them and we get some free soldiers. Which just move us very slightly towards geopolitical. You know what? Let's get let's get some free troops. What I get? What I get? What I get? What I get? Oh, saboteurs! Traveling undercover, the saboteur re relays details of enemy movements, but can also cause mayhem in enemy lands by sacking unguarded sites. Okay, so sabotaging, um, raising stuff. Let's send you up this way to go and have a look around. You guys are invisible. I wonder if they can ignore military access. What does the expansionist ability do? Uh, actually, they'd be good at the expansionist stuff. So you can sit on enemy territory and then just take it. Takes you a few turns to convert it over. But yeah, you can just say, okay, this land, now my land. Click on that, boom. You start converting it to yourself. And also, because we're expansionist, we ignore... Um, Access rules. Agrarian star. Patronage. As wealthy empires grow, merchants and nobles express their power by funding artistic endeavors and scientific research. So we now have access to the luxury manufactory, which is amazing because this gives us access to wondrous um, luxuries. Inventor's workshop. Plus two science per saltpeter and plus 10% science. Interesting. And Yosudapura has lost some population. I'm imagining that's because you're over... No, you're not. 